Praustis ir maudytis. Praustis ir maudytis. Prausti, prausė, prausė. Prausti, prausė, prausė. To wash. I wash the dog. Aš prausiu šonį. Every two weeks. Kas dvi savaitis. I wash the dog every two weeks. Aš prausiu šonį kas dvi savaitis. Kas, the word who or what, or what is used to show, to say every. And this is accusative. Dvi savaitės, dvi savaitės is the accusative of dvi savaitės. So I wash my dog every two weeks. Aš prausiu šunį kas dvi savaitės. Aš prausiu šunį kas dvi savaitės. Nuprausti, nuprausė, nuprausė. Nuprausti, nuprausė, nuprausė. To wash somebody or someone or to wash off. Of course, this is a perfective verb. It is needed, literally. Reikia to wash the dog. Nuprausti šunį. We need to wash the dog or literally it is needed to wash the dog. Reikia nuprausti šunį. Reikia nuprausti šunį. Reikia nuprausti šunį. Now the reflexive verb with the reflexive particle. Praustis, prausėsi, prausėsi. Praustis, prausėsi, prausėsi. It means to wash oneself or to have a bath or a shower as we can translate it in English. But uh, this literally means to wash oneself. No prost to wash some someone, somebody, something, to wash a dog or to Yeah, so no prost and prost is to wash oneself. Reflex Every day Kazidian I have a shower Prosuse Podusho. This literally means I every day I wash myself under the shower. Well, of course, you're not under the shower, but uh, it, it is the sense that as if the shower head was the shower. So, kasdien prausiuose po dušo. Po means under. Po is used with uh, the instrumental case. Pa plus instrumental. So, dušas turns to dušu. Kasdien prausiuosi po dušu. Every day I wash myself under the shower, literally. Or, every day I have a shower. So, praustis po dušu means to have a shower. Kasdien prausiuosi po dušu. Kasdien prausiuosi po dušu. Robertas is having a bath or a shower. Literally is washing oneself, so there is no difference. You can say Robertas prausėsi, and it's not clear whether it's bath or a shower. Robertas prausėsi. Robertas prausėsi. Robertas prausėsi. Now, uh, this verb in this in its reflexive form is this: nusiprausti, nusiprausė, nusiprausė. Nusiprausti, nusiprausė, nusiprausė. This is a perfective verb to have a bath or a shower and to to wash oneself off. A finished action. So, and it could also be used in the context of washing hands or washing uh, legs um, or washing your face. Um, it's it's either you have a shower or a bath or you just wash uh, your own uh, body parts face uh, arms legs and so on so to wash oneself can i have a shower well can i argalo wash oneself literally nusiprausti in your shower tavo dušia 
So can I wash myself in your shower? Well, can I have a shower? If you're at someone ha at someone's house, you can say can I have a shower? But in Lithuanian you say can I wash myself in your shower? You know, the literal meaning is important because you should under understand the meanings of individual words. Can I have a shower when you're at someone's house? I need to, or for me it is needed to, man reikia wash my hands, nusiprausti rankas. As I've said, uh, in English you say wash my hands, but in Lithuanian uh, savo in, in this case is not used, since this is already a reflexive uh, word, a reflexive verb, nusiprausti, to wash one's hands, one's face, uh, it's it's already reflexive, so there's no need to add another uh, possessive pronoun, which should be reflexive, no supposed to savarankas, since if the subject of the sentence and the possessive pronoun uh, refer to the same subject, the possessive pro uh, pronoun should turn to uh, the reflexive, savo, savo. Uh, but uh, why should we need a reflexive pronoun if we already have a reflexive verb? Nusiproste. So that's why nusiproste rankas already means to wash one's hands. Or manrike nusiproste rankas, I need to wash my hands. It's already uh, encoded in this verb. There is no need to add my or your or so on. No need for, for possessive pronouns, which should turn to reflexive if there is already a reflexive verb. Man reikia nusiprausti rankas, I need to wash my hands. Man reikia nusiprausti rankas. One last time. Man reikia nusiprausti rankas. Now another uh, similar root to that verb, which was prausti, is plauti. Mm. Perhaps in the Proto-Indo-European, uh, uh, in the proto language of the Indo-European proto-language, uh, these two verbs came from the same word perhaps, prost and plaute, but who knows? Plaute, plauna, plove, plaute, plauna, plove, to wash something or somebody, well not somebody, only something, to wash something, to wash some object. Now I'm washing the bar plauno, uh, the dishes, in dus, in the plural nominative, in dus plural accusative, the bar plauno in dus, the bar plauno in dus. Now I'm washing the dishes, the bar plauno in dus, the bar plauno in dus. Next, I ash very rarely, labai retai, wash the floor, plauno grindis, grindis with y, grindis uh, plural nominative and grindis plural accusative, uh, grindis the floor in Lithuanian is a plural noun, grindis with ys so the plural ending is, grindis, uh, you can say well there's the word kambaris, a room and it's singular but uh, the is ending can also <coughs> be uh, used for a plural nominative. So be careful about that. So I very rarely wash the floor, literally. So uh, I wash the floor very rarely. Uh, grindis, plural accusative. Aš labai retai plauno grindis. Aš labai retai plauno grindis. Aš labai retai plauno grindis. One more time. Aš labai retai plauno grindis. Now, one perfective verb. Nuplauti, nuplauna, nuplovi. Nuplauti, nuplauna, nuplovi. To wash off. Finished action. Perfective. Wash the windows. This is an imperative. Wash the windows. Nuplauk langus. Nuplauk langus. Wash the windows. Nuplauk langus. 
langai plural nominative, langus plural accusative. Nu plauk langus. Next. Did you wash the car? Ar nu plovi mašina? Ar nu plovi mašina? Ar nu plovi mašina? Ar nu plovi mašina? Now another perfective verb for plauti is iš plauti, iš plauna, iš plovi. Iš plauti, iš plauna, iš plovi. To wash. Um, to wash a, a bath or a sink or a bathroom or a car. When you're uh, washing a car, of course you're washing the uh, exterior of the car. You're watching it from uh, washing it from outside. So you say no plauti, no plauna, no plovi. It's washing from inside, uh, from outside. I'm sorry. And iš plauti, iš means of, no means from. So you watch uh, washing everything from uh, the surface of the car. And if you're <coughs> and iš is from, so iš plauti can mean to wash the interiors. Well, to wash a bath or a sink or a bathroom, uh, it could also mean to wash uh, the floor. Since plauno grindis, this is imperfective. Uh, how can you say ash, uh, I wash the floor? Uh, the perfective version sh uh, should be ish plavo grindis. I washed the floor. So the perfective version for plauno grindis is ish plavo grindis. I've washed. Uh, the floor. So this is the perfective uh, verb. That's more for interior, uh, washing interiors of some object or uh, for the floor or for some other kind of objects in the bathroom. So, one time a, mo a month, karta per mėnesį, one time in a month. Per means through and per mėnesį in a month, lit uh, literally through month, but Per mėnesį in a month. Uh, mėnesį is accusative. So per is used with accusative. Karta per mėnesį one time in a month. Karta. Kartas means uh, time. Uh, as in one time. Uh, I wash uh, the bath. Plaunu vone. Once a month I wash the bath, literally. Karta per mėnesį plaunu vone. Karta per mėnesį plaunu vone. Karta per mėnesį plaunu vone. Have you washed ar iš plovi? The closet and the floor. Klozeta ir grindis. Have you washed the closet and the floor? Well, this is not closet, uh, as you may understand it in English. Closetas means uh, the toilet. Uh, so to wash the toilet is šplauti klozeta. Klozeta. Since water closet, the WC um, abbreviation is from the word water closet. The water closet is klozetas. Klozetas. Uh, the white object that many sit on. Ar iš plovi klozeta ir grindis? Have you washed the toilet and the floor? Ar iš plovi klozeta ir grindis? Ar iš plovi klozeta ir grindis? So klozetas is the toilet. Now, ir, this verb has also a reflexive version of itself. So, išsiplauti, išsiplauna, išsiplovi. Išsiplauti, išsiplauna, išsiplovi. To wash one's head, one's clothes, or one's hands. Um, well, maybe not. It's, um, you know, it's used for the word head, which of course denotes washing one's hair. Uh, it's also used for clothes, uh, for shoes, uh, for coats and for some other kind of clothing. So you wash ones or your your um, your clothing or your hair. Uh, this word is mostly used in these contexts. So, yesterday, vakar, 
I've washed ishsiplavu, my head, galva. Well, this means yesterday I, I've washed my hair. Uh, and in Lithuanian, this literally is I've washed my head. Vakar ishsiplavu galva. Vakar ishsiplavu galva. But please don't use this word with <coughs> body parts like face, hands, arms, and so on. It's only used with uh, with uh, hair and clothing. It can also be used with the word car. With it's used with hair and clothing and other things and objects that you possess. So if you have a car, you can say "ishsiplavu mashina," I've washed my car. And so it's used with the objects that uh, you have. Ashisiplavu mashina, I've washed my car. Arba, or Ishsiplavu galva, I've washed my head. Or Ishsiplavu struka, I've washed my coat. Or Ishsiplavu batos, I've washed my shoes. So you see, these are objects that belong to you. Plus your hair. This word is used in these contexts. Next, uh, has the spot deme uh, disappear, uh, disappeared? Well, uh, this sentence could be translated as uh, did the spot deme disappear? Ish seplauta means to wash, uh, as I've said, uh, as I've translated this word, to wash something, but it also means to disappear, for it to vanish. For example, the spot um, vanished. You, know, you put, uh, you wash your clothes, and the spot vanished. You can say that deme is suplavi, deme is suplavi. The spot vanished. The spot was washed. In this case, the reflexive verb denotes that the. Uh, the doer was, you know, the spot. The spot has washed itself off, has disappeared in that sense. So the spot has vanished. The spot has vanished. The spot has disappeared. Uh, the spot washed itself off and disappeared. You know, it's is the it's such kind of connotation. Uh, so, in this case, it means vanished. So, has the spot vanished? Arish suplave deme. Arish suplave deme. Arish suplave deme. Plavikla. Plavikla. For example, automobilu plavikla. Car wash interior. Plavikla. Plavimas. Plavimus, for example, automobile plavimus, washing of a car. Plaveus, plaveus. This is the masculine noun. The feminine would be plavea. Now washing up liquid for dishes and cars. Indu plaviklis, plural genitive. Indu plaviklis, indu plaviklis. Uh, automobilums for cars, uh, dative case. Plaviklis automobilums. Plaviklis automobilums. Plaviklis automobilums. Uh, washing up liquid or soap for cars. In daplovie. In daplovie, a dishwasher. In the dishes, plauti, uh, plauti plauna plovie, uh, to wash. And plovie, you see. This is made uh, from the past tense, from the third basic verb, form, since uh, many, many uh, compound nouns are uh, take the second word uh, from the third basic verb form, if it's a verb. So in daplovie, in daplovie, prosiklis, prosiklis, prosiklis. For example, vaido prosiklis. Uh, face lotion, vaido prosiklis. Maudimasis, maudimasis, swimming. Well, mauditis, mauditis means to have uh, a swim. 
uh, to be in water and um, uh, well nouns uh, which are made from verbs have this uh, suffix im for example rashiti to write rashimas writing but since mauditis mauditis is a reflexive verb the noun that is made from the verb has also to be reflexive so this is the reflexive particle maudimas uh, the same as rashimas plus the reflexive particle is so we get maudimases maudimases a reflexive noun reflexive nouns have uh, si uh, in all cases at the end of the word especially uh, i'm sorry except the nominative which has is after the us ending for masculine nouns costumes costumes a suit and these two nouns these two words form this collocation swimsuit maudimose costumelis maudimose costumelis or maudimose costumes maudimose costumes well it's not used <coughs> that often in spoken Lithuanian but still you can hear it Costumelis is a little suit, so Maudimus Costumelis is usually a swimsuit for uh, for women. And Maudimus Costumus, it could be used for uh, a swimsuit for men. But, you know, the difference is slight. Not necessarily. Or, when we're talking about sports and about swimsuits for sportsmen, you can say Maudimus Costumus, Maudimus Costumelis. Cost Maudimus Costumelis, usually for women. So, this is... Uh, the genitive of this noun, maudimus is maudimus. <coughs> you see, reflexive nouns are uh, declined in the same way as normal nouns. Us ending turns to o, just like in all genitives. Just like as if it was namus namo, the normal f uh, masculine noun. But since it's a reflexive noun, it's, you need to add sim at the end. So maudimus costumelis. A little suit of swimming for women and for men, maudimus <coughs> But it's uh, this, this word, these collocations uh, are not so widely used in spoken Lithuanian. Uh, more, uh, the more frequent uh, word that's used for the word swimsuit is maudomukas. Maudomukas. The uk means little, so little swimsuit something like this modomokus modimke it perhaps has some relations with the russian this seems like uh, the russian suffix but you know it's sometimes used in informal lithuanian in spoken lithuanian so modomokus or modimke modomokus or modimke this is a bit russian with the russian influence this is better so Better use this word, modomokos, modomokos, swimsuit. Bikinis, bikinis, shorty, shorty, glodis, glodis. Now, another very important root, the third important root in this video is maud. Mauditus, Maudosi, Maudesi. Mauditus, Maudosi, Maudesi. Well, what does this verb mean? It means to have a swim, or to take a swim, or to be in water, and to bathe in sea. Yeah, so basically it's to have a swim, or to take a swim, or to bathe in sea. To bathe in sea. To have fun in a lake or in a sea to bathe somewhere. You can also say Maudi to Savonia. Maudi to Savonia. To bathe in a bath. Or to have a bath. Maudi to Savonia. Locative case. Savonia. But it's used also for having a swim, taking a swim, or being in water. Ha uh, bathing. Do you want Arnore? To take a swim, or to have a swim, or to bake, bake I'm sorry, bathe, uh, bathe in the lake. 
iš simaudyti ežere? Do you want to bathe in the lake? In a lake? Ar nori išsimaudyti ežere? Ar nori išsimaudyti ežere? Next sentence. For me, man, it is always visada cold, šalta, to bathe in the sea, mauditis jūroje. Uh, for me, it is always cold to bathe in the sea, literally. Well, it means uh, I'm always cold when I bathe in the sea. Something like this, but you know, sometimes it's better to see the literal translation and you'll understand the sentence better with literal translation than with the English translation that's lost the whole uh, the whole idea of the sentence. You can lose the whole idea and uh, of the whole sentence if you make a normal, uh, eloquent English translation. But if uh, I'm translating literally, you'll get the sense of the sentence mm -hmm, correctly. You'll see the real meaning and when these sentences are used. So for me, it's always cold to bathe in the sea. Man visada šalta mauditis jūroje. Man visada šalta mauditis jūroje. Again, šalta is the neuter adjective. Neuter adjectives mean it is cold. Karšta, it is hot. Neuter adjectives mean it is something. As I've said in many other videos. But I'm still reminding you this. Man šalta for me, man it is cold. Šalta. Man visada šalta, I'm always cold. For me it is always cold. Notice uh, the word order and the patterns of the sentences. Visada is but, but, uh, before the adjective is uh, describing your feelings. Next sentence. In the summer, Vasara, I like Mexto to bathe in the river. Vasara Mexto Mauditus Opea. In the summer, I like to bathe in the river. Or I like bathing in the river, but it's this literally is to bathe. Vasara Mexto Mauditus Opea. Vasara Mexto Mauditus Opea. Where did you bathe? Or where did you have a swim? Or which, where did you take a swim? Kur maudisi? Kur maudisi? Again, English is, is somehow limiting, is, is, uh, is making an obstacle to understanding this word. You can not swim at all and do this action, mauditis, maudosi, maudisi. You can Ašmaudusi. You can say ašmaudusi, although you uh, don't necessarily have to swim. You can just be in water. You can uh, walk around in the water and jumping, jump on the waves. It does not matter. It's not about the swimming, but it's about being in water. So this is the meaning. When a child's in water, you're saying he's having a swim, while well, if he can't swim, he is in the water, so you know this meaning is, is is such. It's not about swimming, but about being in water, having fun in water. Now the plur I'm sorry, the finished action verb, the perfective verb is ishsimaudite. Ishsimaudo ishsimaudia. Ishsimaudite ishsimaudo ishsimaudi. Uh, so you only add ish, and just like all reflexive verbs, the reflexive particle goes from uh, the end of the verb to the place between the prefix and the root of the verb. Ish simaudite, ish simaudo, ish simaudite. To go for a swim. Or to... Well, again, it's hard to uh, describe. It means to be in water and to have a swim, to take a swim, just to have fun in water as a finished action, as the perfective verb. So there's no real translation for this. Let's go. Vajoyam. 
to the sea or to the seaside literally near the sea pria euros pria means near and euros genitive because eura euros this is genitive with pria you have to use genitive so let's go uh, near the sea literally or to the seashore or to the sea vajuam pri euros we'll have a swim we will have a swim swim ish semaudisim Let's go to the sea, or literally near the sea, we will have a swim. We will bathe. So, vajuam, you see, this is not an imperative. Let's, although it's let's go. As I've said in some other videos, uh, the imperative for the first person plural, we, or in English, let's go, let's... Uh, let's see let's find out and so on the english construction let's do something or the first person plural we uh, is more used with the present tense than with imperative so the present tense conveys the meaning of the of the imperative as you know the imperative is used with uh, k suffix but more often the present tense without the e is used instead of imperative. And as you know, meta in the plural of first and second persons can be shortened to mete. Uh, mete uh, are shortened. So uh, usually when an imperative is replaced with a, a present tense verb, it does not have the me vajuaya me priuros. Well, it's not so natural. It's unnatural in the sentence. When you're using, when you want to use the imperative, when it's used instead of imperative, you say the shortened version of the first person plural verb. Vajuayam, vajuayam. Let's go. Vajuayam, vajuayam priuros. Let's go near the sea. Literally, we'll bathe. Uh, if you want to say, let's go to the sea. Or I was at the sea, you should say prie euros. If you're saying uh, I went to a lake, or uh, I was um, I was uh, doing something, you know, at a, uh, by the lake. You're using Priya, so just like Priya Euros, uh, near the sea, literally, Priya Ajaro, near the lake, literally. So it means by the sea or by the lake, uh, at the shore, at the coast of the sea, or a lake. So Priya Ajaro, Priya Euros, you should use Priya, plus the genitive. If you're saying mm, by the lake, or by the sea, or uh, at the coast of these water bodies. So, vajuam pri euros ishtemaudisim. Let's go to the sea. By the sea, we will have, we, uh, we will bathe. Next. Every morning, kiek viena rita, I bathe in the lake. Ishtemaudo ežere. Every morning, I bathe in the lake. Or in the lake. Kiekvieną rytą išsimaudau ežere. Kiekvieną rytą išsimaudau ežere. The day before yesterday, užvakar, I had a bath. Or literally, I bathed, I bathed in a bath. So the day before yesterday, I bathed in a bath. Vakar išsimaudžiau vonioje. Vakar išsimaudžiau vonioje. A locative case. Vakar išsimaudžiu vonioje. One last time. Vakar išsimaudžiu vonioje. Ačiū, kad Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section.